Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger, pastor of Holy Trinity Catholic Church, Beaverton, Oregon, and I'm at uh, the park. It's funny, I can never remember the name of the park. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'll put it up there on the, uh, the screen for you, and you know where it is. This weekend is Divine Mercy Sunday. Divine Mercy Sunday. In the 1930s, uh, a woman, a nun, Sister Faustina, had visions of Christ, and he said something basically to the fact that only divine mercy, only mercy will be the salvation of the world. Now, of course, we know this anyway because Jesus is the one that gave us mercy, right? For all of our sins as humanity, for all the wars and all the horrible things that humanity as a whole has done, and we unsadly continue to do, um, what is it that we deserve, right? Uh, well, we're going to get what we don't deserve. That's our hope, right? Our hope is that we will get what we don't deserve, which is mercy. And that's the whole point of mercy, is that it is from our misery that God pulls us out. And on this weekend, I want you to consider this. Now, Erin may have already been talking about this in her uh, her Wednesday discussion. I'm uh, video this thing, uh, videoing this uh, uh, session on, of course, Tuesday, like I typically do, right? And I'll wait till Friday or even Thursday. And besides, look at the weather, it's awesome, right? Snickers is loving it too right there. He's hanging out. I'm holding him down because uh, you'll see sometimes dogs go by and that's very distracting. Anyway, I diverge. Squirrel! <laughs> so anyhow, so this weekend we, def we celebrate Divine Mercy. Pope John Paul II asked that the whole church universally would celebrate this second Sunday in Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday. So here's some homework. Because I, I'm not going to get into the details. I'm not an expert at the Divine Mercy Chaplet, nor actually Sister Faustina herself. Uh, that's some stuff for me still to uh, to learn more about. Uh, but I've done the Divine Mercy Sunday or Divine Mercy Chaplet many times. Maybe you might consider it on this day, on the Sunday. It's through the ninth of the, the uh, Novena of Days for Divine Mercy Sunday. And the homework would be more than this, though. The homework I'd like you to think about is. Who is somebody that you can offer mercy to? Now, typically, we are thinking about people that have done us wrong, have harmed us or hurt us. And those are perfect targets for mercy, right? And they may not know of our mercy, but this is where it's an inside job for us, that we would grant them mercy, that we would grant them forgiveness, that we would forgive them. Again, they may not know but in our hearts we will know. Mercy is not common for us fallen human beings, and that's why it really demands supernatural grace, divine mercy. Okay there, dog. Divine mercy is something that is very important for us to, as people, to offer each other. So imagine now one person for this whole week that you can send a prayer and offer mercy to. Ask God to help you to forgive them. And who will be set free, right? You will. They may not even know. Now, I wouldn't necessarily come up to somebody unless you have a really good relationship with them, but they may just see that as manipulative. That is if you don't know them, or they don't know, I should say, that you have an issue against them. So just grant them the mercy that they don't deserve and forgive them and let them go. If we could do that, if all of us could do that throughout the world, this day or during this week, forgive someone and offer them mercy, the world will change. So folks, that's my quick message for you this day. I'm going to continue walking. Uh, part of this week is my day off, or actually a vacation there. And after the Easter uh, like celebration uh, and cheer to whim time off. But this week, let's all think of someone, myself included, who may have wronged us and forgive them. I'll see you this weekend. God bless. Bye bye. You are going to be difficult. <sighs> Sit. Oh, you're not here, Sit, sit. Lay down. Lay down. 
There you go. See, it's, 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 it's. That's even better. He's a good guy, you know? He's looking for ducks and squirrels, mostly dogs. <laughs> ducks, not so much. Squirrels, yeah. Dogs, absolutely. Do, 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 do. There's one over there. There's one over there. He's coming. Let's go say hi. Hi. 